my name's Corey. I'm a school programs educator here at the Glenville Museum and just uh, showing around one of my favorite galleries here at the museum and one of my favorite exhibits which are our amazing collection of ammonites. Now these animals were swimming around here in Alberta while dinosaurs were walking around on land across the middle of North America there was an inland sea, a warm, shallow, tropical sea filled with marine reptiles like mosasaurs and plesiosaurs with their long necks. Overhead were flying the flying reptiles, the pterodactyls, pterosaurs, and swimming around also were these ammonites. Related to squids and octopus, these animals had tentacles coming out of the open end of their round shells. And uh, when they died, of course, their shells would uh, fall to the bottom of the ocean, get covered over by sediments. And here in Alberta, something weird happened after that, that doesn't happen anywhere else in the world. For reasons that scientists aren't entirely sure about, their shells recrystallized. So that pearly layer became red, green, blue, purple, these beautiful rainbow colors. And here in Alberta, we take those shells and we shape them into beautiful jewelry called amylite. I want to share with you one of my favorite things in the whole museum, which is our amazing collection of petrified wood. Most of this wood comes from the Petrified Forest National Park in Arizona which is an amazing place. It's 225 million years old. That's the Middle Triassic period, the beginning of the age of dinosaurs. At that time, dinosaurs were still small, mostly carnivorous animals, not the kings of the Mesozoic world. Much larger, more scary than them were crocodiles. Different large crocodiles like Postosuchus and something called a Phytosaur, which was a lot like a crocodile, but not directly related to them. So dinosaurs had a lot to watch out for in those Triassic forests. The petrified wood that you see here has all these amazing different colors. The wood, uh, cell by cell, uh, molecule by molecule, was replaced by minerals as they fossilized. And those different minerals had different colors. The reds and yellows, the warm colors, come from iron oxides. The blues and purples and blacks come from magnesium oxide. You also see this in the hills of the petrified forest. Last summer I was able to go there, and it's a lot like Drumheller here in Alberta, except just imagine the layers being blue and green and purple and red. Absolutely stunning place with these stunning specimens that came from there.